Uh, I just want to congratulate you, first of all, because you, you were just absolutely spectacular in this movie. Thank you. Thank you. When you first initially got this script, Denzel, I mm -hmm. mean, it obviously really touched you because you became a producer right away as well. Mm -hmm. But what was it? What really got to you? Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the reasons I became a producer was, was because I was touched by the original scripts and I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to refashion the material back to what it originally was. I think that the, the first version or first or second version that I saw wasn't the, the heart of what the story was really about. My son is co-producer on the film and he was really uh, uh, attracted to the, the spiritual aspect of it and, 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 and really was the one who convinced me, as he did with Training Day and American Gangster, convinced me to, to, to be a part of the project. Uh, so that must have been, wow, for mm -hmm. you, for your son to be so intuitive to mm -hmm. these things. That's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Well, he's a good producer. He's my producing partner now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, and then, you know, you, you take on this part, a uh, fabulous part, but you got to get yourself in shape. Mm -hmm. And you're in good shape. I mean, we know. Well, I had to, I had to drop about 50 pounds because I had put on a lot of weight for um, taking a Pelham 123, yeah. but I had six months to prepare, so... So I took my time, eight, eight to ten pounds a, a month, and lost about fifty-five pounds. Whoa! Well, take me through though the the weapons. Oh, training. I lost the fifty-five. Pounds? Well, yeah, I mean, trust me. A lot me. of lettuce. It, yeah, <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I keep trying that. I was, work. Uh, no, actually, I was eating whatever I wanted because yeah. I was working out so much. But take me through the weapons training because that's not easy. Come on. Yeah, no, it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was it wasn't difficult. Uh, Jeff Amada, who's a stunt coordinator, who's a brilliant martial artist, who's a disciple of. Danny Inosanto. Danny Inosanto was a contemporary and a close friend. Of, uh, he, he grew up with, uh, with Bruce Lee. So I was working with some of the best martial artists in the world. And they made it very easy for me and, and walked me through the process. And, and, and uh, I really got into the Zen kind of vibe of it all. And I enjoyed it. And I read the script. I knew I was going to win. So, <laughs> you know. So. What was the hardest? There's archery, there's the guns, there's the knives. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 I've been doing movies a long time, so I, I, I don't know, I've never done any archery, I guess, before in a movie. <laughs> but, you know, but I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> you know, you pick up on it and you practice. You know, that's what's fun. Yeah. All of those things help to, to get you more into your character. Those are practical things that you have to learn to do. And, and, and you know, you want to look like you know what you're doing, so you, you practice a lot. Did you go to Sunday school as a kid? <laughs> My father was a minister in the Pentecostal Church of God in Christ for 50 years, so I went to everything. Sunday school, uh, morning service, afternoon service, evening service. So mm -hmm. those Bible uh, classes, your dad, it all came in handy, I think. Did it, did it bring back no, memories? No, I wasn't listening <laughs> then. <laughs> back then, I didn't want to go. But, you know, it must have, after reading this and, and just really delving into this topic of this, it had to have really hit home for you, my friend. Well, it, I mean, it was a part of the reason I wanted to do it, you know, and, and a lot of it was already on the page. I mean, it wasn't like we, w what we did basically was to go back to Gary's original script, which was, you know, and we made sure we had certain quotes right and, and, and things like that, but we actually pared away a lot of what I had to say. It was a lot of, he, he, he talked a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, in some of the original scripts and then even in, in the process of the scripts I think uh, Warner Brothers got nervous about too much spirituality and and uh, it, it wasn't about anything yeah. it became just an action movie which was not very interesting to me so uh, we, we sort of went back and does working on something like this make you think do. more about what we take for granted in life um, I mean that's what he talks about and yeah I, I, I think so I mean I thought about that anyway yeah. I think about it in my own life, and um, yeah. <laughs> so did it make the working conditions any better to get through them? I mean, dust storms and, and working in New Mexico and crazy, crazy conditions. Yeah, but we're making it, we're, yeah, but we're making a movie. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, you got people that have real hard jobs working in coal mines mm -hmm. or whatever. We're just out there shooting a movie. We could go inside our trailers if we wanted to. Yeah. yeah, working with Gary Oldman, just tell me a little bit about that. Uh, there's some great tension between mm -hmm. the two characters, mm -hmm. and he's so great. And, and mm -hmm. I know he, he brings levity to this. Not a lot of people know that he's a funny guy. Yeah, um, yeah. What was it like? One of the great actors of, uh, of our generation, you know, and it was a great I We knew that 
I needed an equal adversary. We needed someone strong. The the quote unquote good guy, if that's what I am, is n is only as good as the the bad guy. If he's weak, then it's, it's, it's not going to hold up. And uh, he plays a mean uh, match of tennis. Yeah, and Mila Kunis. Wow, she's really good in this. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's all you know. She 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 hasn't done anything like this and. Uh, she had the opportunity, and without patting myself on the back, she had the opportunity to, to work with two very strong actors, three really, with mm -hmm. Ray Stevenson as well and Gary and myself. So I, I, she, she absorbed and learned a lot. Did you feel that you had to kind of be a father figure to her on set a little bit, to kind of take her under your wing? No, because I, I, I think he didn't want to be around her. So I, I didn't want to be around her. Not, not her personally, but, you know, yeah. we, we, we kind of walked, and I, and I asked her a lot of questions, and and talk with her in the in the rehearsal process but uh, I, I kinda stayed away from her uh, uh, quite a bit during the during the shooting because that's where the character was at he really didn't want this you know but really she's the one who humanized or rehumanizes him I mean he'd become a in the, in the name of God he'd become this killing machine and, mm -hmm. I, and, and I don't think that that was what he was meant to be yeah was it important for you uh, Denzel to give him a backstory before you played him like who, what he did before, uh, before all this happened. Well, we know that it was already in the script. We know he worked. All we know is he worked for Kmart. You know, and they, and and I did the math. I figured he was about 17, mm. 18 years old. And uh, but I do, you know, I write a biography for every character. I have a journal, a history. So so that's just a part of my process. Is it true you went commando? I might do what? You went commando. You didn't wear underwear in this role. <laughs> commando. That's, yes, that's true, Hex. Who told you that? I have my ways, have my your friend. Ways. Yeah, I don't have underwear on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. So I'm joking. that helped you with the character? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. I'm glad. It's yeah, good. Well, in fact, that was the essence of the character. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end on that note. You did a fantastic job Thank in this film. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Always great talking to you.